All right, guys, we're back with another video for the CRF 110. I just got another package, and I believe, I believe I know what it is. So I, I just opened it so you can see my address, but this is from Faster Minis. And I think this should give us a little bit more sound. Oh, yeah. That is nice. I also ordered this shift shaft um, brace. Here she is, though. Oh. Look at that. FM. <laughs> Where it's going to go, and then you can go ahead and just pop this out, and then there's going to be a grommet down here, right there, and then there's one more grommet right up top. If you pop this little piece out right there and then uh, you can just leave this connected and swing it out of the way that's how it's held on right there um i bought her where it's gonna go and then you can go ahead and just pop this out and then there's gonna be a grommet down here right there and then there's one more grommet right up top after you pop this little piece out right there and then uh, you can just leave this connected and swing it out of the way that's how it's held on right there um i bought so um i kind of cheaped out a little bit i bought the fmf exhaust the slip on though um or the shorty whatever you want to call it um eventually when i go big board kit i'll probably get the full exhaust i'll probably go yoshi honestly once i do decide to do the big board kit which will probably be the end of this year um but yeah right now all we have is our 12 millimeter and for my exhaust since it's just the little shorty um it's just going to be these three 12 millimeter uh bolts i'm gonna go ahead and get all those out because uh, they are pretty good on there and you're not gonna be able to hear just kidding might as well show you the whole process i really need to get my tripod back so we'll set these up because that's the middle that's the end and then you don't really have to take this one all the way out i'm assuming but I'll just go ahead and slide that off like that there we go okay maybe actually might actually you might have to remove um this one i'm gonna keep this whole like, stock exhaust though just in case you ever want to okay so i'm really hoping you can use this uh oem hardware um because as you can see that is a little bit the stock exhaust is a little bit more flared than this one so um i don't know it says it fits um i guess we'll see what happens we are just gonna Put it on here right now. Make more sense to put it on there first. And we can go ahead and slide this on like that. And then we'll just lightly uh, screw some of those screws in just to hold the... So I guess realistically speaking, um, to be honest with the way these mounting points are, I guess you probably really wouldn't have to worry about the exhaust leaking that much. Um, we're going to see exactly what it wants us to do with this because I just... There's just no way that this is going to get tight enough to tighten that down and i don't think it came with any hardware but let me just double check okay so i think i'm just gonna try tighten this down and i guess we're gonna see if this leaks um maybe that's part of the reason it's called a slip on i just figured it was called a slip on because it slips over the oem pipe it's just very weird to me that they don't make some sort of clamp that you you would think they'd make something that tightens this down but i don't know maybe it's not gonna leak so i am gonna do I'm gonna tighten it down, do a cold start or a startup with it, and then I guess if it's not leaking, then it's not leaking. Um, but uh, yeah, unless like unless you could take out that, but I don't, I don't think they'd make you do that. So let's, okay, this is gonna be the first start. To be honest with you, I don't. I mean, now that it's tightened down, I don't think there's gonna be any problem with that. So let's just go ahead and go ahead and start this. definitely is leaking out of there so I'm gonna have to figure something out with that it's leaking out of there quite a bit actually okay I'm going to do my own thing and kind of play around with this because that is leaking um we're gonna see what I can oh, took out the, the gasket I guess you could say I'm assuming this is probably lead but um, I took it out of there. I guess let's just see if I can figure something out with that. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly go over what I did, and I think it ended up working. So 
there was that lead gasket thing that I showed you guys I actually cut in half put it on the outside of the FMF slip-on as you can see here put it on the outside took the OEM clamp that didn't fit because it was too big too big of a diameter to put on here put it around the gasket I was able to close this in tighten these all the way down push the thing all the way back as you can see pushed it all the way back tightened it all the way down then I just cranked on this for a little bit and it is not leaking out of there at all so I'll go ahead and give you guys a little start and there's nothing coming out of it not yet at least that's the water from when I first started it before I think for the most part it's fixed however I am going to this is just temporary I am gonna buy a uh, smaller diameter um, clamp just so I can clamp it down on there and I'm probably gonna do two or three little slits inside the metal um, just to make it so that the metal is able to actually be compacted a little bit more because you remove some material by putting a little um, slit in it then you can actually compress it more so that's what I'm gonna do um, but now real quick I also figured I might as well just put that shift shaft cover. all right I realized after putting the exhaust on that I didn't even show you guys a video of what it sounded like um, revving so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the FMF uh, shorty power core for sounds like started revved up and then in a different video I'll get a couple flybys of it when we got the other stuff go ahead and give her a little start so that's all it is for the exhaust I didn't do the full exhaust like I said in uh, the video I probably will eventually do like a full Yoshi or something um, once I actually get the big board kit and stuff for it but that probably won't be till the end of this year So yeah, I'll go ahead and get, obviously, like I said, better videos um, later on, little flybys and stuff. Um, but that's it as of right now. Uh, we got new bars uh, actually here. I'm just waiting on a couple other things because we got extended throttle cables, um, extended brake cable, uh, new grips, and also we can put on the LED bar. I believe all that stuff comes in on Thursday or Friday. Tomorrow's Thursday, so should have a new video out for you guys um, over the weekend. But yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the 2024 CRF 110 build so far. Um, after I do some stuff to it, I'm going to do a little bit more review of it. I probably should have done a review on the bike when it was bone stock. Um, but yeah, you know, I figured might as well do some stuff to it. Um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoy this little build series going on. And hopefully we can add a little bit more uh, smaller motor stuff to the channel.